Hi, my name is Jomua. I'm a hair and makeup artist and I am creating look basically from nothing to the end result. So, welcome to my new Tuesday video and let's go! First of all, thank you so much for tuning in for my next photoshoot adventure and I hope this one will not disappoint you. The main inspiration for this shoot was a tribute to the Hunger Games. Lately I'm feeling kind of melancholic and I want to channel this feeling into this like shoot. So I want to create this like dangerous, mysterious character, but more from like the fashion and the beach side. So maybe you noticed, but actually the hoods are in fashion again. So uh, Margot Robbie had a hood, uh, Miley Cyrus had a hood, and I also decided to have a hood. And actually to support the hood, I want to have this like main character from Hunger Games or the young adult novel uh, feeling. So I have this glove that is like completely functionless, but it's looking kind of cool. So, as I mentioned before, actually I'm not a real tailor, so I have no idea how to make a hood. So I just grab the random hoodie and I overdraw the hood and this is how exactly I come up with the scheme. And as you can see, I don't have a lot of fabric. This one I found in a thrift store in like this bin with the fabrics and I just bought it. It was very cheap and I like it a lot. So I saw the hood and it was looking kind of boring on the beginning, so I decided to add some functionless uh, details to have like more meaning and more value and to have like more interesting structures. Functionally, it don't do nothing, it's connect to nothing, but it looks kind of cool, like a real hood. accessories I had this like wonderful idea to create with, like a uh, ring nails uh, thingies and I made 10 of them but when we started the shoot I realized that was only nine so one of the ring nail is just like gone to the wind so in the, all of the pictures my model actually she hide one of her pinky because yeah uh, one of the nails is just like missed missing and another actually interesting thing what also happened on a shoot, I planned to use an earrings, but I didn't ask my model, does she have her ears pierced? And she didn't. She didn't have her ears pierced. So as usually I start with the nails and I just use a wire to create this like nice ring effect around them. And then I realized it don't have a lot of structure, so I used a glue gun to create some more volume. Then I used just a silver powder to create this like metallic look. And then I realized it doesn't look that great, so just I add a lot of a dark shadow. And then finally I had the look that I really wanted. My model is Buja and I find her on Instagram and actually I'm very thankful that she agreed to work with me and for the look actually I created this like metal plates and I glued it to her skin and I have this like um, metallic spikes also we have this like hood so the look would be like very kidneys from the Hunger Games the makeup process was a lot of fun actually. First of all, I decided to have this bleach eyebrows effect and I cannot change my model appearance, so obviously I cannot bleach the eyebrows. So I used the white paint to have this effect. Then actually we did the darker eyes, outlined lips and create this like nice lips. And then actually my metal plates start to mess with me and they was ungluing and ungluing and ungluing. Thank God Bouge have the patience and she actually helped me a lot because I was ready to give up on this. 
a setup, I rolled my black background behind my model and as a backdrop lighting, I have with like two different sorts of light with like very colorful spots. And I know in a video it doesn't look that impressive, but later in the Lightroom I just enhance uh, the colors and they look beautiful. And as a main source of light, I use this like very sharp pointy light to have this like dramatic and mysterious effect on my model. First of all, I didn't like how the light was there, so you see me lurking around and changing the light, but in the end it looked kind of cool, and as you can see, I showed my girls all the pictures so they have idea how the lights work, how they're looking, how much they should pose. In the end, I got a lot of beautiful pictures and the hardest part was to choose uh, the right one that I want to retouch. And for the retouch, I just did the basic color correction and then I just tweaked some imperfection here and there. And most imperfections was about the clothes, not about the model, she was like nearly perfect. And as a result, you can evaluate it by yourself. So this is the end of my YouTube video, please like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Actually if you can, please support me on Patreon and I hope I will see you next Tuesday.